Man of Interest here for this week in keyboards, and just like last week, I'll be doing the same format. First, we'll be starting off with our news articles, then we'll be moving on to inch checks and group buys. Fortunately, unlike last week, this week won't be a whole long 17 minute extravaganza. The first article for this week is by Sprit. He's announcing, he announced that on August 31st, he will be opening up a group buy for Alp Springs. Throughout last year and the last few months, he's been prototyping these new Alp Springs that he wants to bring to the market. What do you mean by Alp Springs, you might ask me? Well, similar to how we can swap and change out MX Springs, he wants to do the same to the Alps market. Uh, mostly this would affect a lot of new Matthias switches for a lot of new Matthias keyboards or people who harvest their old Alps switches for various projects like harvesting blue Alps for a 60% Alps keyboard for example, etc, etc. I think this is going to be a great direction to move for Alps and Matthias style keyboards, especially since there are so few of them and they're so rarely used. Although one of their two main issues is one, there's no kind of converter or universal stem for MX compatibility, and two, there are no PBT caps. Matthias has been saying they've been going over trying to do that for the last two years. We'll see if it happens. But I'm really happy that Sprit is trying to do this, especially with the easy fact that the cool thing about Alps is you don't have to desolder Alps to change out the springs, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I'm actually looking forward to that. I have a uh, V80 with a Matthias Quiet Clicks, and I definitely like it to be quite a bit heavier. So I'm really interested to see that, and come the 31st, I'll be joining that group by. The next two topics in the news are related to me, and they're the only things other I have to report this week. Um, I was in a podcast last Thursday, and I'll be in a podcast this next Thursday. Um, there'll be a link in the description. You guys should check it out if you have time or if you like my content. Um, my co-hosts are um, Quickums from RMK and Apolitary, also from RMK. Uh, both of them are pretty prominent members who are there quite often, and we had a good fun uh, last week, so join us for another hour of talking about keyboard stuff uh, this coming week. And the last piece of news I have is I put up an interest check uh, last week for the next SoCal Meetup, which will be happening either September 17th or 24th. I'm tallying the last results for feedback, and coming this next week, I will be posting the official Meetup post involving the time, the date, and the venue, as well as any other additional information. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be fun. Um, everyone had a blast last time, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, I'm also about to put in an order for some custom keycaps for the meetup, just like at the last meetup. Um, for every meetup, I'm actually going to be ordering a different batch of keycaps with slight variations. So if you attend multiple of my meetups, uh, you can actually use those keycaps to keep track of which meetups you've been to. So check that out when that comes up next week. Next, we'll be moving on to the interest checks and group buys. In this section, I'll briefly run through some of the interest checks and group buys or the relevant news I've seen for this last week. The first interest check and group buy news is the group buy for SA Chronicler opened up by Originative. It's a wonderful set that looks like it's been inspired by both Sky Dolch and Soware. Um, it does come at a price tag of about 175 for the base set, 225 for the RGB set. Um, it's a honestly beautiful set. Uh, something interesting that Originative did, uh, which is much different, is this is opening not a group buy or interest check, but a pre-order. Um, actually, see the thing is that uh, Sheraton of Originative actually put in the order for these keycaps back in March. So production has already started on these keycaps. So unlike many keycaps where you're not gonna be receiving them until halfway through 2017, if you order it now, you'll be receiving these keycaps sometime late next month or early October, which will be awesome. Um, and that does kind of explain for why there is a certain price. And because of that, the order was put in early, quantities are limited. So check it out when you can. Next on interest checks and group buys is an interest check by user Cody Wanks of Geek Hack. Cody Wanks of Geek Hack has proposed a muted magenta set to be produced by GMK. It looks quite similar to the GMK Valentine set, but I think it is slightly different in color. I think those colors will, these colors will work quite well, and it's going to be a nice, not too loud, but different enough set to be looking at. I'll keep my eyes on this one, and I think you should as well. Next is a group buy for Uniki Blue, um, started by user Kekon, 
on GeekHack. And this is a also another GMK set, which has the um, blue color of the company Unique Key, which is also working with and uh, together with um, GMK, sorry. Uh, I think this is actually a really nice light subdued blue that will work really well. Um, he has the modifiers as white with the uh, blue legends just like the alphas, so I think it's going to be a nice uniform look, um, which is quite a bit different from what a lot of sets have been doing these days, which is alphas have one base color, one legend color, and mods are usually that but reversed. Um, this time he's keeping them the same between mods and alphas for the legend and keycap color. I think the set is gonna be quite nice. It's kind of like a blue version of the normal black on white, so I guess it'd be blue on white. And if you're looking for something simple but with color, this might be a great option to check out. Next in the news is probably one of the biggest group buys and pre-orders of this week, which is the group buy and slash pre-orders for Zeal PC's Zelio Switches. But it's not just Zelio Switches he's doing in this round four. He also has an RGB LED PCB. He has transparent stabilizers, which are also gold-plated. He has his new Zelio silencing clips, which I covered last week. Um, and he also has some for uh, some lube coming up. And I think this is gonna be a wonderful group buy. Anyone who's looking for building a keyboard who likes the idea of a very tactile switch should definitely look into this group buy slash pre-order. Uh, the prices are all right. They're definitely more expensive than the typical Gatoron or Cherry switches, but most likely that's for a plethora of reasons, um, like the fact that probably less Zelios are produced than any other switch in existence, actually. They probably produce more than MX Grays, but because of that, there's also higher cost. So if you do want it for a easier to attain price than the aftermarket, I definitely recommend hopping on to the group buy as soon as you can. Um, it's going to be great. I'm actually thinking about getting. I joined root groups. Uh, uh, I joined round one and I loved it. Um, I st still have my Zelios on my compact SQ 67 grams performs wonderfully, even though Generation 1 did have some problems. Uh, most of the issues with chattering, stability, wobble, and whatnot, uh, Zeal says he's been worked out and ironed out in this round four. So this might be the best time to hop onto Zelios if you haven't before. You should definitely check it out. The next interest check I have in the news is one I'm really looking forward to. User Larceny of GeekHack has posted an interest tech for GMK Nordic Pine, produced by GMK. This set takes two two different greens n7 and ae as well as the dark gray uh, n9 of gmk and creates a really beautiful nordic pine themed set and i really like the colors of this one um i think it has a really good potential to look really beautiful this might be an alternate key set i would put on my gone mx mini which i just did a review of recently you can also check it out if you haven't um, yeah, so I'm going to be following this set. Uh, looks like he's going to have all the right compatibility keys that I'd need for my keyboard. Um, so if you're looking for a nice another green green colored set and you missed out on the GMK TA typewriter set, keep your eyes on this one. This one could be a good bet coming to you soon. Users Joris Bohr and Gajibal on Reddit are proposing a new interest check for a new DSA set titled DSA Medic. And this set actually looks quite good with the red and white, especially with a set that has the red stripe uh, mimicking an electrocardiogram, EKG machine, something medical. Um, I, I really like it. It's definitely really reminiscent of the uh, pink stripe used in DSA Valentine, which was done by J. Jill back in the day, two years ago. Um, but definitely a set you should look forward to if you like nice accents, some cool modifier, I mean some cool accent keys I think he'll be adding on, a nice red color, and you love DSA. So keep that, so keep that in your radar, especially if you really like that red stripe. I really like that red stripe. I think that is superb. Moving on, Evan GS, the same man behind the minivan on Mass Drop, which is the 40% keyboard, is doing his own interest check for Light Cycle DSA. Some of you might recognize Light Cycle as the additional add-on kit you can add to the minivan on Mass Drop. But because of the popular colorway, many people have demanded or asked that he do a group buy or interest check for that set as a full set for a full keyboard as opposed to only fitting the minivan keyboards. So if you really like that set, which is kind of like, honestly, it's kind of like Sky Dolch or Pulse, Pulse Dolch, 
That's what that, that's how it looks to me. If the uh, cyan was darker, I'd say it's probably um, kind of like Sky Dolch. Actually, it might be Sky Dolch almost in color, but DSA. But to me, it reminds me of uh, with the space bars uh, Pulse Dolch in colors, which I think is pretty interesting, pretty cool. Um, so if you really like that in, uh, those that colorway, uh, you should definitely check out this key set. And my last piece of interest tracking group I news goes back to what I just talked about, the minivan. The minivan on Mass Shop has a new drop point at 1,000 units, which is absolutely amazing. So many people are ordering it, it's been really well. As of recording this, there have been 541 units purchased, and if users make it to 1,000, the prices of their keyboards will go down from $149.99 to $139.99, a nice $10 jump down in price, which will be nice savings for everyone across the board. Will it make it there? I'm not sure, but they have a week left, and in one week they've already done 500, so I don't see why they can't do another 500 in another week. So if you're looking for a quick, nice, easy, awesome 40% keyboard, check out the minivan, and of which I will have a review sample coming soon, so hopefully in another week and a half I'll have a review of the keyboard if that's something you're looking forward to. That's all the news I have for this week. Like I said, I tried my best to keep it short this week. Um, I probably missed some things. If I did, please let me know. Um, and thank you for watching. Hope you see you guys next week.